Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the PCS Collectibles Rita Repulsa statue. Now this came out with the Goldar one, but I initially didn't pick it up because even though I like these, and I do think that they are mostly a more reasonable, reasonable price compared to other collectible statues I've seen, I just wasn't all that interested in Rita because to be honest, I've never been a huge Rita fan, and it didn't look as good as Goldar or some of the others to me. But thankfully, recently GameStop had a half-off sale. They'll actually have those quite often uh, for various degrees of percentages off. So if you're ever interested in any of these, keep checking GameStop in particular because I've seen them have a lot of sales on these statues before. So that's just a good tip right at the beginning. But since this was half off, I decided why not. And honestly, I'm glad I didn't pay full price for it. Like, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. I just think it's one of the weaker ones. Again, full disclosure, not a huge Rita Repulsa Bandora fan, so I wasn't as excited about this as some of the other Rangers or even Goldar, who I wasn't that excited about but wound up being pretty cool. But I would say it's a solid-ish statue. I think this is the first one that has a humanoid face, and it's not bad. It looks a little cartoony, but I guess you could say it's the comic version if you wanted to. But it's not terrible. It doesn't look too inaccurate or too weird or anything. I mean, the color looks good on this. They got the points right. I mean, the hair doesn't look half bad. I feel like it could look a little bit more realistic, but that's just nitpicking. Like, it overall looks pretty solid around here. I kind of like the, the worn, faded look around the tips here. These tips here, which I think looks good. I mean, they do a pretty decent job of sculpting the cloth to make it actually look like cloth, but you can also tell even more so that it's plastic, but I think it looks better and probably less cheap than if it were to actually be just cloth, but it just feels like... It feels like a kid did a pottery project and it's like misshapen. So it just doesn't look as good in my opinion. You kind of got this feathered back here which I didn't know about, which is pretty well detailed. Like it's, again, solid-ish is the way I would describe it. The details are fine on it, the nice ring details there. It just, it just doesn't excite me. You know, it, it doesn't look as solid as the Ranger ones where I have a few nitpicks and it doesn't blow me away like the Goldar one, which just honestly, again, I'll link to that review in a couple places here, but that one really took me by surprise with how cool it is. Now the staff looks pretty good, as you can see, and when you get it, it does have these two separate pieces, because this is just literally a black pole with like this sort of gold fade at the end, but it separates so you can put it in her hand. Um, I don't know if yours will be loose. Mine's really loose, which is I guess one of the major problems I have with it, is I wish this was less loose, because when I popped it out, I'm like, oh, is that supposed to come off? But it is, it's just unusually loose. But the top part that matters looks really good. The gold and black look really nice off of each other. You got kind of a nice shine here on the red. You have an actual chain here for that. So I'll say that looks pretty cool, even if it, it is a bit loose. And one thing that's kind of neat is if you recall, all these figures have been standing on power coins and like Goldar stands on a faux Goldar power coin, which is really cool. And this isn't as cool as that, but you can see it's the dumpster top that she came out of, which I think is really cool. I think that's a really nice, unique detail that works perfectly for this, even though I don't think it's as cool as the Goldar faux coin and I think they're doing something similar for Zed but I appreciate that like as a creative way of doing that and it's kind of a perfect thing for it. They are doing a Zed one which I will be checking out. It looks a little bit stylized but we'll have to see because I am more interested in that one but Overall, I would say if you're a huge Rita Repulsa Bandora fan and you can find this for a little bit less than retail price and you like what you see in this review based on, you know, seeing it in person from here, then I think you'll be happy with it. I think for what it is, it's not bad, but I think it's definitely, for me, the weakest of the bunch. Like, I would recommend any of the other Rangers or Goldar first of the ones that I own, and I just don't think it looks as good for the retail price, but again, if you're a huge fan, you can find a discount. I think you'll be happy because you're already a huge fan of the character. But otherwise, if you're simply just trying to decide what statue or statues to buy, I prefer any of the other Rangers. And villain-wise, the only other ones we have on the way, I mean, non-Ranger villains are Zed, and then we have Goldar. I would recommend Goldar easily. Goldar was a huge surprise and a really great figure, even if it doesn't have the wings. That's about it for this one, though, guys. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can subscribe videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.